G'day kids, it's Mr. Williams, and I'd like to read to you one of my books from Australia. It's called Wombat Stew, and it's by Marsha Vaughan and Pamela Luffs. One day on the banks of a bill billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat and decided to make wombat stew. Wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Platypus came ambling up the bank. G'day, dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What's all this water for? I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew for that fat wombat, replied dingo with a toothy grin. If you ask me, said platypus, the best thing for gooey stew is mud. Big blops of billabong mud. Blops of mud, dingo laughed. What a good idea. Righto, in they go. So Platypus scooped up big blocks of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. Waltzing out from the shade of the iron box came Emu. She arched her great, graceful neck over the brew. Oh no, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey chewy wombat stew, boasted Dingo. If only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers, smiled Dingo. That would be chewy. Righto, in they go. So in the gooey brew, Emu dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy, wombat stew. Old blue tongue lizard came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Silly dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies, agreed dingo, rubbing his paws together. Righto, in they go. So lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey, chewy stew. Around and around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Up through the red dust popped a kidna. Wait a bit, not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now I've been listening to all this advice and take it from me. Munch, for a munchy stew, you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. Why, I should have thought of that. Righto, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them from the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. The very, clean, very clever Dingo stirred and stirred, all while singing, Wombat stew, wombat stew, Hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. Look here, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to the koala to think of gum nuts. Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Righto, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. Oh, let me skip the page. Aha, cried Dingo. Now my stew's only missing one thing. What's that? asked the animals. That fat wombat. Wait, stop. Hang on, Dingo. You can't put the wombat in the stew yet. Why not? You haven't tasted it. Righto, I'll taste it. And then the very clever Dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of stew. Ah! I'm poison, he howled. You've all tricked me. And he dashed away deep into the bush never again to sing. Wombat stew, 
wombat stew, gooey brewery, yummy chewy wombat stew. Thanks, kids.